Dr. L. H. Hirnandani Hospital has been at the forefront of defending Mumbai against a fight of COVID since the 14th of March 2020. We are arguably the hospital that has seen and admitted the largest number of cases amongst private players in the city. We are just a 240 bedded hospital, but we have given 80% of our beds to Bombay Municipal Corporation and 100% of our beds to, uh, in the ICU to the Bombay Municipal Corporation. We have seen over 4,000 fever cases in our fever clinic and we have admitted over 1,200 cases and treated them with a high success rate and we have sent patients back home. The happiest time in this hospital is when we see a person who's really seriously ill is being discharged and going back to the loved ones. The hospital is treating cases from across the society. All that matters is the fact that you're COVID positive and you're symptomatic and that's enough and we are admitted to the hospital if beds are available. The hospital today admits patients and if they are able to afford a deposit, it is gratefully accepted. Otherwise, they are just admitted straight away and the treatment is started. Here, we are absolutely concerned about the fact that no one shall leave this hospital just for the lack of money. There are times when our own staff has had to wait for hours on end before they got a bed to be admitted into the hospital. And we emulate all the standards that our chairman Padm Bhushan, Dr. L. H. Hiranandani has taught us. And the treatment that we are rendering is and par in line with the best in this country. There are the indigent and the poor who have been treated and their billing has been heavily made concessional as from the hospital as well as there are good Samaritans who come forth to help such people out. This is a time where the community is acting in consonance as one. The hospital is the bedrock of the community at this particular point in time as are other hospitals in their own domain. Allow me to add that today, the billing in the hospital is as per the BMC guideline. There is no deviation. And this makes healthcare available, accessible and affordable for all. And where people cannot afford, Good Samaritans and the hospital step in. But then there are times which try and test our collective patients. There was an incident where one person wanted to make an issue for personal and perhaps political mileage on the billing issue. The fact of the matter is that a patient was admitted in, to our ICU on the 22nd of June and he expired on the 16th of July. He was admitted directly into the ICU and we fought to try and save his life but alas, nature didn't side us and we lost the patient. The billing was 7.5 the patient was only able to pay 2 lakhs as part of the insurance. Now, in the hospital, what we did was we found out their antecedents and we found that this was a rickshaw puller. Therefore, or rather a rickshaw driver, and therefore the hospital decided to waive off the entire bill. But we also roped in some good Samaritans who helped in this cause. Even though the payment was not made from the patient's side, the treatment continued. Not for a day was the patient stopped. This incident which occurred in our hospital was an ugly one. And it has actually damaged the morale of the COVID warriors in this hospital. These are the people who come daily and put their lives at risk. They go back and they feel that they may have put their families' lives at risk. So such like incidents can only be deleterious to the cause of what we are all up against and not support it at all. We are not frightened. 
we are not deterred in our mission to ensure that we support everyone in this hour of crisis and at the same time we ensure that mumbai our city wins this battle against covid and at this particular time we also focus on our pawai uh, in which we feel that we have are the domain we are the bedrock and we will support everybody who is in this region or from across mumbai in this hour of crisis we wish that god be with all of you and we wish all of you good health we also wish the person who created this disturbance that you also have good health and you will do something for the betterment of society rather than instigate people and try and demean them thank you very much for listening to me jai hind jai maharashtra